Ecovac Maximum Alkaline Batteries. Maximum power, maximum value. You know, they were going to call this Geraldo soup until I pointed out to them that I am not Geraldo Rivera. Hi, I'm Sally Jesse Raphael. Hi, Sally. Oh, nice to see you. Uh, the Springer Show has always been a place where young men and women could come and meet members of the opposite sex in a relaxed, comfortable setting without the pressures of single bars. It was this reasoning that possessed Pat to bring her daughter Lakita onto the show. She thought Lakita would be a good match for a guest named David. Unfortunately, David's ex-girlfriend didn't see it that way. She could be a model. She's looking for someone like you. You are... have two kids. Oh, she got two kids. But she could have two kids. Do it. Listen. Okay. See if I'm getting Sarah. this right. You are offering your daughter to David? She's grown. She's an old independent baker. Okay. Okay. Is You're she wealthy. here? Yes, she is. Let's bring her out then. Let's see. Did you see Lakita's wig fly off? I wonder what happened. Hey, Fred, can you roll that uh, tape back again? Sure. <laughs> oh, it was our, our resident fly fisherman. I, I hate it when he does that. Anyway, this past year, we traveled to Schenectady, New York, to focus on a debate that has been played out in communities all across America. The topic in question, do strip clubs have the right to do business in good neighborhoods, or should they be regulated to the seedier areas of towns? Well, speaking on behalf of the strip clubs were exotic dancers. Among the opponents was Mark Williams, a local disc jockey who revealed a lot about himself without taking off a stitch of clothing. He gives a guy a lap dance and sits there and gets an erection over her and does whatever. What is the Unless difference you between that and hooking? You don't know. You don't don't know. Don't know. I've had lap dances. Oh. Hold on, Mark. Yes. Mark, these cameras work. You are now, wait a second, you are on national television yes. saying you don't like the idea of these clubs and you're admitting that you've gone to these places yes. to like that? But the people who call my talk show on WGY every afternoon tell me they don't want them in their backyard, they don't want them in their neighborhood any more than they want a nuclear waste dump okay. next to that house. What okay. neighborhood okay. did you go to, to to have your lap dance? I haven't been to one in quite a while. Okay. Tampa, Florida, if you must know. Okay. I used to hang around here. Nothing like giving the opposition more ammunition. Right, Mark? Well, uh, I'm sure the city of Tampa is grateful for the plug. A couple of years ago, Shannon and her boyfriend, Calvin, were guests on the program. Now, during the show, Calvin revealed that he actually worked as a stripper and as an escort. Now, Shannon immediately broke up with him upon hearing the news. But during this past year, Shannon had a change of heart and came on to our show to get him back. However, as this clip reveals, you must be careful of what you wish for. Trust her enough to know that if she was going to strip for men, that she's not doing anything above or beyond that. I, tr I trust her. Well, Calvin, I trust you too, but Kai, you brought the kind then of money. what's the problem if you trust me? Something I would like to tell her is 90% of the time that I was out dancing, it wasn't for female F or female clients. <laughs> I mean, I had a stalker when I first started this job a while back, and I think Shannon thought that it was one of the females, That's one of my she clients. Told me. Well, no, it was actually my client that was stalking me, not not her husband. So. So you dance for guys. Very well. <laughs> I'm glad.
glad I asked for that clarification. I was really worried that uh, Calvin couldn't do a two-step. Well, Alayda Shannon made this astute pronouncement. Calvin, I came here today to get you back. But obviously, that's not going to happen. You're gay. <laughs> Well, wait a second. Just because a guy dances and sleeps with other men is no reason to label him gay. Moving on. Earlier this year, I journeyed to Los Angeles to examine firsthand the ramifications of teenage drug use. Now, during my visit, I met Jody, a 17-year-old heroin addict. Jody has been living on the streets of Hollywood for the past three years. Over the last 12 months, she's developed a habit for what many consider the deadliest narcotic of them all. In this clip, Jody explains in graphic detail how she takes the drug. You smoke it or you use a needle? I, I have smoked it at times when I can't hit myself. Yeah, I, I, I inject. Is that scary? Oh, um, I have a major um, phobia of needles, but it's like I can, I overcome it. You know, Just to time. take it? Yeah. I mean, it's, I think, I think I'd suffer more if I had to snort it or smoke it because it tastes a hell of a lot worse. I mean, the needle, it doesn't really bother me anymore. Can I see the uh, marks on your arm? What do you call them, yeah. tracks? Yeah, they're called tracks and calluses. Like, right here, it's so callous that, I mean, I can't even, I mean, can't even, when I break through it, you can feel the needle going through, like, two different layers of scabs and scar tissue. And this one, I used to shoot them that one, and that one shot out, now I burned it with a cigarette butt because I was trying to quit. And then this one, this one's the most currently used one. I, I can't hit myself in that one, so I let people hit me. But Are you afraid of dying? Um, no, I'm not. Jody admitted that she knows she isn't happy with her life right now, but she also said that she does have hope for the future. For her sake, I hope things work out. Okay, still to come on the soup to spring air, Tenacious Tanisha wreaks havoc on my stage. And a husband cheats on his wife with a vacuum cleaner. But first, it's the latest sci-fi blockbuster, Jerry Springer versus the Guar Monster. What do the JFK assassination, the Agent Orange controversy, and the Watergate cover-up all have in common? One man, Jerry Springer. It may sound ludicrous to suggest that a harmless talk show host has anything to do with the conspiracies that have baffled pundits for decades. But then what was Springer doing in Roswell, New Mexico in the summer of 1947, looking for guests? In the mid-50s, Springer had close ties with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Former agent Bill Brockman. Yeah, we saw Springer around the Bureau. He was always bucking for honorary G-man status. In fact, some say it was he that introduced the chief, J. Edgar Hoover, to the exotic world of cross -dressing. Laos, 1969. Jerry's mad genius for mind control is exploited by the U.S. Army. Springer subjects the troops to his specially concocted magic cocktails. Former sergeant of Charlie Company, Joey Topple. Yeah, you know, uh, Springer did. We used to call him Dr. Feelgood. And then he became Dr. Talk. This drug of his, it made us weird. I mean, every time we saw Charlie, he looked like Charlie McCarthy. I couldn't shoot a puppet, man. That's why we lost the war. We don't know why, but every time there's a major cover-up, there's Springer. At the Kennedy assassination, Marilyn Monroe's mysterious death, Watergate. Even when they changed Darren's on Bewitched, there was Springer, pulling strings behind the scenes. And now he's using his talk show for mind control, making us weak pawns for his plan to rule the world. Jerry Springer, fun-loving talk show host or megalomaniacal genius? The answer seems clear. Beauty. She's beautiful, just a beautiful heart and soul. Legend. An amazing actress. Mystery. Someone might have uh, pushed 
Natalie into the water. This Sunday at 8, get the real story of one of Hollywood's most intriguing icons, Natalie Wood, the E! True Hollywood Story. But first at 6, E's acclaimed series looks at the double life of psycho star Anthony Perkins. Uncover the hidden truths in Hollywood on the E! True Hollywood Story. This Sunday, beginning at 6, only on E! Lots of people have Super Bowl parties, but this year you could have the best party ever. January 25th, live after the Super Bowl, Publishers Clearinghouse could surprise you with $10 million. Enter and be ready for unexpected guests. Even after 11 years, there are more Grand Amps still tearing along than any car in its class. So you can count on having a good time for a good long time. Grand Am, built for kicks, built for keeps. Now a good time is a great value with 2.9% financing on any new Grand Am. But step on it, because even though a Grand Am lasts a long time, this offer won't. Grand Am, built for kicks, built for keeps. Drive it at your Pontiac dealer today. What does it take to keep my hair this beautiful? Lots and lots of people. Come on, in the real world, it takes new daily defense. They're new shampoos and conditioners that really protect your hair. Daily Defense shields your hair from sun, blow dryers, even pollution. <gasps> With new Daily Defense, anyone can get the protection their hair needs to keep it shiny and beautiful without a big production. <sighs> new Daily Defense from Clairol. Hair care for the real world. Defend yourself. Ricola. We hope you don't mind us blowing our own horn, but Ricola, the original all-natural herb cough drop imported from Switzerland, now comes in a soothing new throat syrup you're gonna love. Ricola. I'm a runner. I run a restaurant. I run early. I run late. into friends. And when I eat, it's on the run. V8 isn't just juice, it's a full serving of the vegetables you need to keep you running on all eight cylinders. How many cylinders are you running on? Hey, what's up? I'm Vivica Fox. Hi, this is Lionel Richie, and you're watching E! Entertainment Television. <laughs> You're watching a special edition of the Talk Soup Weekend. I'm Jerry Springer, and I'm featuring nothing but clips from my show. Yippee! Hey, you didn't actually think I would present clips from the other guys, did you? Yeah. That was a rhetorical question, Tom. But those are my favorite ones to answer, Jerry. Never mind. As a uh, talk show host, I've had the good fortune of meeting many interesting people, including the godfather of soul, James Brown. But nothing in my six years of talk TV could have prepared me for my encounter with the rock band Guar. Imagine the banana splits after the apocalypse traveling through hell, and you have some approximation of what is Guar. I had never been to one of your concerts, I admit that. Uh, but be and I knew you were coming on the show, and I wanted a chance, before I would cast my judgment, I wanted to go to see your show so I could experience firsthand what it was like. Let's take a look at the tape. Uh, when I was at your performance, okay? And I was, I was even asked to be a part of your show. You're one I... of us now, Jerry. You're an honorary scum dog! <laughs> Don't turn it back. Okay, already the lights. Okay, let's take a look at me at your show. <laughs> Wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the incredible honor tonight. Spring up! Although that might have looked disgusting, one serving of me is actually quite healthy. If you don't believe me, then check out my nutritional information. One serving of me contains 35 calories, has 10 grams of fat, is low in sodium, and contains no cholesterol. So the next time you want a snack, grab a slice of Jerry Springer. It's the other white meat. Husband, <laughs> Husband has affair with Royal Hoover Upright. Now, this isn't a headline from the Weekly World News, but it would be if Nadine believed her spouse, Ray. You see, Ray came home one night with a big hickey on his neck. 
Nadine suspected a little hanky-panky was involved, but Ray claims the only thing he got lucky with was a vacuum cleaner. Sound bizarre? Welcome to my world. That's a hell of a story. I mean, you, you come home late at night, and there's a mark on your neck, and you're telling her it's a vacuum cleaner. True. Okay, tell me the story. We were fighting, and I went out, and uh, she always accuses me of cheating, because I'm always out all the time, and I finally did something to make her believe that's what she wanted to hear, or see. So you went to your grandmother's house, well, my parents' house, yeah. And you borrowed the... You say, excuse me, um... Well, they didn't know nothing about it. They were pretty much just, sleeping. It was late at night. What do you do? You plug it in? I mean, I'm... How, <laughs> how do you... How do I, I don't mean to get off the subject here, but how, how do you do? You plug it in and you... It was already plugged in. It was... It was easy. And you just put it to your neck? Just threw off, too. <laughs> what gave you this idea? I mean, this is not... Her! The... She's constantly nagging. Where you been? Who you with? Da, 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 da. And I can account for where I've been. Hmm. That was Ray's story, and he's sticking to it. At least for another 20 minutes, when he finally admitted that he cheated on Nadine. Oh. With a real person. Oh. I know. Nadine, meanwhile, admitted that she had an affair with Mr. Coffee and a Maytag Grier. <sighs> I think uh, one of the most important rules of any racist group is to know your own rules. Nothing can cheese off the hate mongers more than not memorizing the rhetoric they want to blindly obey. Yeah. That's why the Reverend Hale is bound to fail. He is the leader of a white supremacist group known as the World Church of the Creator. And as this highlight reveals, the old Rev needs to bone up on his own ideology. We are a religious movement. You were saying earlier that, uh, insinuating that we weren't. Our race is our religion. We are proud of our people. So it has nothing to do with God. No, we don't believe in a god, a, a gods, uh, or whatever you want to call it. You have, what, 16 commandments? Yes. Couldn't get it all in 10. So... Uh, why, don't you, why don't you read us some of them, okay? Go to number three. That's the one that intrigued me. Destroy and banish all Jewish influence from society. Uh, do your part to bring about a white world as soon as possible. Certainly, we want this. Okay, uh, number five. Oh, you can go on and go on. Uh, so. Yeah. Okay. I, mean, we can I, don't mean, I don't mean to make a pop quiz out of this, but if you're the leader, wouldn't you know but what? That's exactly what you're doing, Jerry. Okay, what I mean, is number five? You well, I don't have them memorized. We don't try to pretend that they're memorized materials. Well, Reverend Hale may have a fancy church name, but his memory doesn't serve him well. He also forgot his birth date, his social security number, his phone number, and who won the 1962 World Series? Yankees did. Um, oddly enough, he did have the Miranda warning memorized. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Springer Clash 97. In the left chair, weighing in at 110 pounds, is the tenacious Tanisha. In the right chair, weighing in at 109 pounds, is the dynamic Dana. They will be vying for the affections of some guy named Adrian. Refereeing the match from the middle chair will be Steve, one of the Springer Show's finest security men. Observing the action from a safe distance will be the show's host, one Jerry Springer. I'm not gonna grow on you. Can't oh, you see that great. he's with me? We were together we last bad. night. I don't care. Yes. She we was beautiful, and then she just night. went crazy. That's not what he said. I don't care. Steve, no one should hit Steve. 
Anyway, I, for one, am wondering what was really happening during that fight. I mean, there was so much bleeped out. What... Hey, Fred, can you roll that clip again? Uh, it's no, uh, one I have a special avant-garde director's cut of the clip. Roll it all! Coming up, Monique finds out the truth behind her boyfriend, Reno. Also, it's a wedding party food fight. On the next strip, she's stripping for two. Monday, E solves another case of dress distress with fashion emergency. Nicole's got a problem. I want to look better than I look now. But can she do it before her anniversary dinner with her boyfriend? Hair by Edward Tricomi and dresses by Pamela Dennis. It's all in a day's work for E's fashion experts. I'm your host, Emmy, model and lifelong fashion fan. So if the shoe fits, the jewels sparkle, and the bag works, then wear it. E's Fashion Emergency, Monday at 9.30 Eastern and Pacific, only on E. Three cups of rice checks. Three cups of corn checks. Three cups of wheat checks. Here's what, what you add next. Four pretzel snitchers. Three peanut lovers. Five hungry kids. No matter who drops in. The perfect snack is what you've got. For your party mix, checks mark the spot. Critics call Tomorrow Never Dies the best Bond film ever. A rousing movie that roars from start to finish with a throttle wide open, says Gene Shalit. Cecil and Ebert give it two thumbs up. Tomorrow Never Dies, rated PG-13, now playing. It isn't every day our government pays a visit to Spring Hill, Tennessee. You the fellows from Washington? No. We're, uh, welders. But it seems they figured if Saturn could reinvent the way a car company works, we just might have some ideas on how to reinvent the way government works. Our entire partnership is built on this 33-page book. Really? Come to think of it, if you can inspire people enough to like a car company, well, then maybe anything's possible. Uncover the hidden truths in Hollywood on the E! True Hollywood Story. This Sunday, beginning at 6 Eastern and Pacific, only on... Sure, you can count on Hatka when the weather's bad, but you know, we're on time for all the times you need to get somewhere. Got a can't-miss business appointment? No one keeps to a schedule like Hatco. Going out for dinner? We've always got another one coming right up. Looking for great performance? Take Hatco. Take us out to the ball game. Take us back in time. Take us to market, or locust for that matter. Because wherever you're going, no one keeps you on track like Hatco. This is about the bond issue. Okay. And rolling tapes. Hello, I'm Lynn Doyle, and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Doing an outstanding job in this partnership with me. The obvious question here is... You can Comcast Newsmakers with Lynn Doyle. A new approach to the way you watch the people who make news happen. Twice every hour, at 25 minutes past the hour, and 30 minutes later, at 55 minutes after the hour. Comcast Newsmakers, only on CNN Headline News. Welcome back to the Springer Soup. I'm the host with the wackiest guests. Now, you've got to hand it to JR. While most husbands would try to convince their pregnant wives to stay off their feet, JR fully supports his wife Annette's wish to keep working, even though she's seven months pregnant. Annette has no desire to quit her lucrative job, and JR is not squawking about it either. He's just very supportive. Oh, by the way, did I mention Annette is a stripper?
I make more money than probably more than all of you. What were you thinking? Uh, let me... What were you thinking watching your wife dance around like this? I mean, this is your wife. You know, we can all sit here and look and say, ah, boy, that's disgusting. That's, this is your wife. You just the, saying this is okay? Yeah. <laughs> With all that dancing going on, I wonder how the baby's doing. I think we have an ultrasound video of the little one. Go, baby, go, baby, go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. Oh, spin it. Woo-hoo, <laughs> You go, girlfriend. Woo-hoo. <laughs> Moving forward, Mary and Damien are a couple of lovebirds who want to get married. Unfortunately, Damien's sister Melissa does not care for Mary and adamantly opposes a union between the two. In this highlight, the Springer Show becomes a wedding chapel as Mary and Damien are joined in holy matrimony while Melissa and a friend Mary look on. By virtue of your consent, both written and spoken, and more importantly, by the power of your love, you have today become husband and wife. I declare now that you are husband and wife. You want to kiss your wife now? Let's oh, yeah. do it. Let's give them a round of applause. Relax, 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 sit down, sit down, sit down. What a lovely ceremony. Of course, what wedding wouldn't be complete without a special Springer reception? If you would like the Springer Show to cater your next wedding, then give us a call at 1-800-FOOD-FIGHT. That's 1-800-FOOD-FIGHT. Okay, we still have one more clip to present on Springer Soup. When we return, Reno reveals his amazing secret to his girlfriend, Monique. I'm a little more different than what you think. It's not that I'm sensitive and all of that. It's that I'm... Kick off your New Year's Day in style and tackle this 12 hours of head-to-head -head fashion. Forget football. We've got Hollywood's biggest players, sexy supermodels, and more than 100 yards of fabric. Be here all day long for E's annual Fashion Bowl. We'll bring you tight ends and tailored touchdowns and pass out penalties for fashion fumbles. My God, you look terrible. What happened? So change your strategy and make a play for E's Fashion Bowl. All day New Year's Day starting at 10 a.m. only on E. When the snow melts and the earth blooms, the mountain air takes on a clean, fragrant freshness. Your clothes can have that clean mountain scent with Mountain Spring Tide. Like regular scent powder Tide, its unique cleaning system washes away many tough stains better than leading regular powders and helps clean away the fuzz that can make cottons look old. Fresh like a cool mountain spring. Mountain Spring Tide. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. An American story. Real people. Hi, I'm Dan Rogers. Hi, I'm Dan Rogers. Hi, I'm Dan Rogers. American Families, 1995, $10 million winner. Here's one of my toys I bought with the $10 million I won from American Family Publishers. This is part of what I spent my $10 million on. All right, $10 million bucks. Send it in. You can become a real American story, too, by winning in the next American Family Publisher sweepstakes. Just look for this envelope with our picture on it. Yes, doctor. Oh, I'm getting a cold. I know what I need from the makers of Advil. Advil cold and sinus works fast to relieve nasal congestion and sinus pain so you can breathe easier. It's tough on colds, like Advil is on pain. Advil cold and sinus. Cold air and dry heat can make winter skin so dry. But what can we do? Skin care tests prove a body wash actually helps eliminate winter dry skin so well. You may not need all that wintertime body lotion. In fact, with 75% Olay moisturizer, this body wash puts more moisture into skin than the leading bar. The name? Two-in-one moisturizing body wash from Oil of Olay. Proven to help eliminate winter dry skin. Have baby. 
Capture images of baby for in-laws. Drive to nearby Walgreens one-hour photo lab. Get choice of standard 3-inch or supersized 4-inch prints. Have your pictures developed in one hour by Kodak trained technicians. Save up to 50% versus other photo labs. Use savings to buy extra set of photos for in-laws. Call to see if baby is walking. Return to hospital. Tell in-laws your thumb is doctor who leaned into photo. Another breakthrough from the one-hour labs of lens crafters. New Featherweights Plus lenses. They're lighter, they're thinner, they're more impact resistant. And now they're twice as scratch resistant compared to regular plastic lenses. New Featherweights Plus. Only from lens crafters. Made in about an hour. Hi, I'm Chris McDonald. You're watching E! Entertainment Television. And I'm Marge Gay Hart. Chris speaks for me when we're watching E! Entertainment yeah. Television. <laughs> Welcome back. We're almost to the end of Springer Soup. Do you have any sanity left? Yeah! Yeah! Well, you may not after watching our final highlight of the show. Monique has been with her boyfriend, Reno, for two months. However, Monique is curious that Reno has been a little shy when the two of them have had sex. Maybe an appearance on my show will help clear things up. Yeah. He's like a boyfriend sent from heaven. He brings you flowers and stuff. He's real nice. He spends a lot of time with me. Well, you know you're here because he wants to tell you something, so I, I'm, I'll step out of it. Reno, she's a beautiful woman. You talk to her. Yeah, um, you know, the last couple of months have been real cool and everything, and I really enjoyed it. And you know how we have conversations, and I tell you, yeah, I mean, that I'm different than most of the guys that you've met and been right. with and stuff? Because you are. Yeah, I know I am, but <laughs> it, I'm a little more different than what you think. It's not that... I'm sensitive and all of that is that I'm a girl <laughs> and that's why I didn't want to make a commitment to you because you're a woman <laughs> I didn't know why you was going to react and you knew You can't be a girl. I slept with you. Yeah. It's it was true. decent, too. <laughs> that was Reno, the biggest little transgender guest in the world. Now, before we uh, finish off Springer Soup, here are some of the topics the Jerry Springer Show will be exploring in 1998. for this special Springer Weekend edition of Talk Soup. I'm Jerry Springer, reminding you that compassion is the spoon that stirs the soup of diversity we call America. Happy New Year, everyone. Where's, where's my security? What's underneath?